Hi there, this is John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and today is Saturday, the 8th of June, 2024. Before I even get into anything else, happy birthday to my friend Misty, and happy birthday to my friend Annie Hassel. I love you both very much. Uh, your My life is better for you being in it, so thank you. Um, so what's been going on since we last talked? <clears throat> um, last Sunday, sadly, <clears throat> my friend Pete's mom, Christine, passed away. She was a real sweetheart of a person, and uh, we had great conversations over the years, and she was just a, a genuinely lovely person, so very sad. That it's hit Pete pretty hard, I've got to say, which is not unexpected, you know. But that's how it is. Um, I'm trying to think. I got a bunch of like early birthday gifts and wishes from people before my birthday, which was Thursday the 6th. And that was nice. So I ordered some stuff. With the People gave me a lot of Amazon cards and stuff. That was appreciated. And uh, a little bit of cashola from family that's much needed. I'm not going to spend any of that on myself. It's all going to go into the house. Um, but uh, what else other than that? Leading up to that, let's see. So on my birthday, we'll skip to the birthday because there's a lot of stuff that went on. I was very pleasantly surprised. No, I'll, let's go backwards one. The day before my birthday, Grace Mary came over and brought me communion and a lovely gift. That was very, very sweet of her, and always wonderful to see Grace Mary. So now on my birthday proper, um, I woke up and like 20 minutes later, uh, there's a beep in the driveway, and it was my friend Joan who had bought Michael and I McDonald's, which was very sweet of her, and also gave me a $30 McDonald's gift card for my birthday. So... <clears throat> Joan is always wonderful and people started coming over here about four a little after four in the afternoon first my brother and his wife and my nephew Anthony actually Davey um, another nephew of mine uh, preceded them a little bit and after they were there for a while uh, we had pizza that was, it was okay. It wasn't great pizza, but it was okay. And um, strawberry, homemade strawberry shortcake, which was excellent. And then uh, Dave uh, went home and my sister Mary came by. And a little while after her, my niece Jessie came by. So it was good to see them. And they were here. <clears throat> and all of them, Davy had already left, but David and Kim and Anthony and Mary and Jesse all left about one or two minutes after 7. And then about 7.30, my niece Tracy came by, and it was lovely to see her. It was lovely to see everyone. And um, we had a wonderful conversation. I had Michael bring down, uh, she had never seen art that my mom did some pencil drawings and some paintings and I was telling her stories she didn't know about uh, both my parents and <clears throat> so it was a lovely time and again I got a lot of nice gifts and that and that continued I just got stuff in the mail today got a lovely card the other day from my friend June and uh, lots of emails I had some great conversations the past couple of days Someone, I, I, uh, of course, my my friend Lori, who I adore. It was wonderful having a talk with her. We had just a fantastic talk. And um, someone I hadn't talked to in far too long, my friend Cheryl, um, who lives in New Jersey and is a very long time friend of mine. We're, we're the same age, although she's born in November. And uh, she's a real sweetheart. A great talk. Um, I heard from <laughs> Irwin, uh, 
who we share the same birthday, but he's two years older than me. And I heard from him uh, later that evening, and he was telling me he went out for a dinner on, on his birthday down in Florida, and he had a big seizure. So that was very sad. I hope he's healing up and doing well. And uh, so that was like, you know, a, a sad surprise. I also heard from my friend Gary Levin, who I hadn't talked to in a while. So that was nice. And just, just a lot of people, you know. And then yesterday I got uh, belated calls from uh, Daniela and Marcy. And it was lovely to hear from both of them. So, you know, I mean, it's just a birthday, but uh, it's nice that it meant something to some people, you know. And uh, yeah, I'm sure I've left out people a lot of a lot of email wishes, and uh, that meant a lot from everyone. I was surprised at people I did not hear from. But uh, I'm sure there's there's reasons behind that. I don't know. Uh, so beyond that, uh, gonna get back to work on Monday. Uh, I got in the new Jethro Tull remaster box set for the their double live album from '78, Bursting Out, which is which is now three CDs and three DVDs. So that's and a 96 page booklet. So that's a lot to go through. And with that, <clears throat> I also got this huge David Bowie box set that's five CDs and a DVD Blu-ray and like some huge book. I think there's like a big book and a slightly smaller book. It's this massive heavy package. It's like five pounds of remaster. Um, so that's gonna be a lot. I mean, I have a lot to go through. And that doesn't even count. Like I got, uh, finally I got the the new remaster of Beatles 67 to 70 that came out uh, last December. And other stuff I was just sent. Um, an Is CD. And I have a Peter Hamill DVD that I just got. I have a, I can't think of the name of it, but it's the boss of something. It's, a, it's an Italian comedy which I love, uh, that's winging its way to me, and other stuff. So, oh, and the other big thing for me is it was the finale to um, Star Trek Discovery, and I watched it three, four times, and I cried every time, and I hate to see that series go because I really like that cast, and I, I enjoy seeing that and the stories have been great uh, the way it ended was lovely uh, very melancholy I mean it's positive but you left melancholy because you go I'm leaving these people behind and it's interesting because this was the fifth season and it's the finale but the original plan is they didn't know there might have been a season six but then as they were finishing up they had already finished up on a on a good ending a good solid ending for the whole season and they were informed that it was the end so they went back and filmed an additional 15 minute coda that really nicely wraps up the series uh, beautifully and I'm not going to tell you in case you're someone that watches it you'll get to it and you'll let me know but um yeah, I understand that it makes sense to have that in. I don't want it to end. Find something else, put it in that exact same time period of Star Trek and have these people keep guest starring. Just do that. Just do it for me. Thank you. But um, really, I think that's about all I got here. Um, gonna make some Mexican rice tonight. Uh, looking forward to that. And... Uh, I look forward to hearing from all of you. I love you. Bye-bye.